Godline. Yes, Godline. I guess for the highly religious group out there that fishes, this is your line. <laughs> I did make mention to them. I did make mention that God line, maybe add an L in there and call it gold line. That's what makes this stand out. This is what makes that stand out, is the name. Uh, they sent me a big spool, and I put a bunch of that line. This is braid before I miss that I put a bunch on my uh, reels and then this is what I'm gonna be giving away first thing I like as you can see it's black I like black but believe it or not you can see black pretty dang good too I was surprised I like black line fishing sir .com. it says better faster stronger Superior strength to small diameter, round and smooth surface, super castability, better abrasion resistance, high strength, and extremely low spool memory. Good for fresh and saltwater fishing. Well, I can be totally honest. I found all of that pretty much 100% true. Here's what I had it on. Here's what I've been using it on. My Daiwa Ryoga, while I'm out float rig fishing, as you can see, I've had it on for about two weeks. Only used it, you know, three, four times so far. It hasn't lost yet any of its color. It is very fine for 30 pound. And I didn't test this. I didn't test where it's going to break or anything like that. I remember testing some of the Chinese lines, the braids, back in the early days, before the technology got to what it is today. They all, all the, all the braid back then came 100 pound, 100 pound. It looked like rope. I still got some in my closet behind me here. I tied it to like my, my boga grip. It was breaking every time around 20 to 30 pounds. It wasn't a hundred pound braid. When I'm float rig fishing, which is my number one winter fishery, of course, using braid when you're float rig fishing, it's like floating fly line. When you're drifting along and your float is taking your line out and your line's laying on the surface. I want it to be strong enough that when I get stuck on the bottom, I can pop my, my 20 pound leader. That's all I ever use is a 20 pound leader. There is some differences between three or four of the Chinese braid that I have used where the color retention washes out. I mean, within, it seems like, the first month of using it. I like this stuff, and it's very competitively priced. Um, you look on Amazon, you type in Godline, uh, you'll see. They got a whole bunch of different types of line and everything. You know, we don't know, is it all coming from the same place? Do they tweak? What are, you know, there's this big mystery out there when things come from abroad, like almost everything. Is it all just coming out of the same factory? I mean, we, we don't know this. They sent me some line. This is my honest, 100% honest opinion. I like it. I like it. I have no problem with it. As far as float rig fishing and, and casting and everything, it, it did very, very well. I am, I like it. I wouldn't hesitate on purchasing a whole bunch of this and another you know thousand yard spool and spooling up a bunch more reels. I want you to be able to try it. It says made in China. It's China braid. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, and I don't mind that. I'm sure it's just a four carrier. It's a, you know, four-stranded braid, I'm sure. But, you know, when you're float rigging and you're tying on your stopper knot, in all reality, if your blade, braid is so unbelievably slick, 
then your 20 pound stopper knot that you tie on here doesn't really want to kind of stay. So a little bit of texture, I could feel it between my fingernails, a little bit of texture isn't a bad thing. But I like it, and I'm going to send it to you. The first person who emails me sends a picture, float rigging, with a fish. I want to see the float. I got to see the float, because how the hell do I know you're float rigging? Float rigging and a fish and you. First person who sends me this email after this video is published, we'll receive this 329-yard spool of black godline. Check them out. Five-pound trout. The first big trout. And what was it caught on? This uh, godline. That godline. I tell you what, I'm not, I'm gonna I've got to go down to get some because it's the best line I've ever used. This is black godline braid. And guess what? We got another one over, right over here. Got another one on. Got another one on right behind us. All right, here's another one. Black godline. Catching speckled sea trout. No problem feeling it hit. Got, there. got another right. one on right here. Got another one. Another sheep's head for the box. What about that godline? 